Math 98, practice test 1, this is question number 13, and the directions for question number 13 say to solve. So I'm going to do just that. And if I go to solve this, this is a quadratic, uh, I'm going to have to factor. So I'm going to look for things that multiply to negative 12, but add to positive 4. So I'll just list some, uh, some factors of 12 here. Looks like I just got it right there. Uh, negative 2 and 6. I could, you know, if I didn't see it, I'd just keep listing them. I know they're going to be opposite signs because they multiply to a negative. But here's my pair right here. Those multiply to negative 12, add to 4. So I could factor this into x minus 2 times x plus 6. Uh, and that's equal to 0. And then uh, these two things are multiplied together, the x minus 2 and the x plus 6, giving me a 0. So I can use that 0 product property. That means this has to be a 0 or this has to be a zero, or both. And I just solve each of these. Add two to both sides. Looks like x can be two. Subtract six from both sides, or negative six. This can be both those things. There's my solution right 